Hello again, this is Robert Murdoch at Go Engineer Technical Support, one of your support engineers with another SolidWorks Quick Tips video. This time I'm going to give you instruction on how to create verbose installation logs. This is for if you're having install errors, or maybe you're modifying the installation, or you're trying to uninstall SolidWorks and you're getting errors. Um, frequently it will uh, offer you a zip file full of installation logs and it'll say give these to, to, to your tech support agent. Occasionally we're going to ask for verbose installation logs. These are, these are more detailed logs and sometimes can be more helpful and I'm going to show you how to create them as well as finding the other logs in your computer. Um, for those who are just trying to find out where the installation logs are, we're going to do that first. So you're going to pull up your file browser system. Doesn't matter which operating system you're using because it's going to be basically the same place. But I got a note here. This is where you find the logs in these places. For Windows 7 and Windows Vista, you can either type into this search bar here in the corner or for XP, Vista, or Windows 7, you can just click in this top search bar here in your Windows Explorer file system and type in percent app data percent. And this takes you here. Users, username, app data, roaming. And then you can find SolidWorks, not SolidWorks 2011. There's going to be a lot of folders that you won't gonna want to click on in here just follow this one SolidWorks and then we're gonna go to installation logs and this is where you pick your version I've got 2012 SP0 so let's do that in here you'll find a log named summary I am log and you'll see one of these for every time that you've ever modified your install or uninstalled or reinstalled it'll be one of these you can mod you can sort it by date modified and that way you'll have the most recent log they'll do it in order if your tech support agent wants these logs you'll just write you'll just shift and click and select all of the files in this folder right click and select send to compressed zipped folder and it'll ask you where you want to put it and that's what we want is that zip folder if you've created verbose logs, in addition to seeing these SolidWorks generated IM logs, you will also see a log that'll say, uh, it'll start with the word administrator. And so that's what we're going to learn how to create right now. So let me close this. So here's your installation manager for SolidWorks. This works in any version of SolidWorks, but the one I've got here is SolidWorks 2012. You can do it in 2011 or 2010 or 29 at all, or 2009, 2009. What you want to do to set it up so that it will create these more advanced logs is up here in this top bar, right click, and then lo installation logging levels, and you'll set this to the highest. Create Windows installer logs. It might make your installation go a little bit slow. We'll set this to high too might make your installation go a little slower but it will log more errors and it might be more helpful for us to do the installation so once you've got that just continue with your modify your repair or your install whatever you're planning on doing and when it's done when you go back to one of these to your logging file location it will have those logs just zip those up and send them to us and then we'll be more prepared to diagnose whatever problems you're having with your installation. This has been Robert Murdoch with Go Engineer Tech Support Department. Have a great day.